Hi, today we're going to see together a new tool called Autosploit that promises to automate Metasploit exploitation and cause a lot of controversy because it looks like a massive scan tool that doesn't allow for a lot of fine tuning and it could cause a lot of mayhem in the wrong hands. I don't like political discussion, so I'm going to test the tool myself. I installed it by cloning the GitHub repository. And now I'm running the tool, which is essentially a Python script. You notice that we need two other Python tools, Shodan and Blessings. So I'm going to install them here. And now we can effectively run the tool. We need to start some services for the tool to work. The Shodan API key is something that gets provided to you when you sign up for a Shodan account. I have one, so. But one thing I need to make you advised is when you copy and paste this key, be sure not to inadvertently add some additional spaces because that caused the problem here. I actually had to go back and start over. Here's, you know, the scan that took place after I correctly pasted my API key. You'll notice a series of options here. You can gather information on hosts, view hosts or exploit them. Now, let's see the list of hosts that were retrieved by the scan. I'm gonna blur this list, I don't want to cause any troubles. Now, let's see how to exploit this. I'm not sure, but I think I need to provide an actual IP address and not the loopback address. So I'm going to check the IP address of this machine through IFQMK. It returns a series of possible exploits. Now I'm going to abort this because I don't want to incur in any legal troubles as I'm using an ordinary connection. I'm gonna reroute my connection through Tor to show you this additional stage. So let's now move to another stage. We need to reroute the traffic through Tor browser. I already showed you how to do that in a previous post, but I'm going to repeat some steps here. I download the Tor browser and now I uncompress the file. We need any way to start Tor browser from an ARM root user because otherwise it won't work. So I'm going to create a NAR root user. I had already done that, I have forgotten. So what I need to do now is to log out as root and log in as the Steam user I created. 
I saved the copy of the proxy chain's configuration file and now we're gonna have a look at it. And I already changed it still, all the traffic is redirected through Tor and the dynamic chain is used. I already explained to you that dynamic chain means that all the list of proxy addresses will be tried. So if one is down, it'll move to the next one and so on. Of course, I need to change keyboard layout here. I don't know why it keeps giving me the US keyboard when I use an Italian one. Anyway, let's now start Tor Browser. And it looks like I need to update it. I didn't start it in a while, so let's do it. Updates prevent bugs that compromise your anonymity, even though I really boost my opinion on how effective Tor Browser can be on this point of view. Let's now go back to the autosploit directory. And run the stool once more. I don't want to override to already gather the list of vulnerable hosts and I need to form a new one. So let's now move to the exploitation stage. I need again my IP address. And you see that we have a list of possible exploits we can use. But actually I don't see any way for me to select one of these. It looks like when we start using the tool all of them will be exploited after each other. And I don't know if this is a good thing to be honest with you. So, let's see what sorted does. Of course, we need to start the MSF console, otherwise we can exploit anything. And some options are already pre-populated for us, but looks like one of those is wrong. Now, it might be that the specific host isn't vulnerable to this individual exploit, but to be honest, I don't think this is a, a good way for a penetration testing to be performed. It doesn't allow any additional intelligence and anyway it's a very early product, I can say so.
In my opinion, uh, Script Kitty could only make a bunch of noise with this tool, but I don't know how effective it can be for an exploitation. Anyway, any tool can be used for good or bad, so I don't feel like blaming the author of this tool for releasing it. I mean, Life is made of choices. You can choose whether to use something like this for good or bad. If you use it for bad, well, that's your call. That's the way I see it. Have a good one.